I'm going to take you on a tour of my back garden where I raise most of my food today. Uh, first we'll start at the end where I have some irises that are just finishing their bloom. Next to that you'll see a lemon balm plant that's gone pretty wild. And next to that is what's left of a boysenberry bush. Then we come up to my grapes. My grapevine is pretty wild too, but it's full of grapes. Then we have over here, we have an offshoot of the original boysenberry plant. And um, next to that, we have what my part of what's left in my herb community. The calendula, and I believe this is a clary sage. And next to that is a hyssop plant. These are the cucumbers that I planted at the wrong time, not according to the moon, this weekend. And you can observe their color and see how they are. Now we're going to take a look at plant row. I have the things here that I didn't have room for in the raised bed. We're starting here with a Gretel eggplant and moving right along to an Ace 55 tomato. And uh, we have a yellow squash here. Some leftover onions or garlic. I believe it's garlic from last year. Some chives, which I haven't got all the weeds out of yet. Uh, somebody who's not in a pot, but this is a lemon cucumber that I planted over the weekend at the right time for planting. Come to think of it, this was another wrong time for planting. Here we have some empty pots I still have to fill. And over here we have a Roma Rio Grande tomato, followed by a thyme plant that I am trying to revive. Here we have a borage that I was protecting finally sprouted. You can see that little tad of green covered with mud. Now I'm going to put the gopher cage back on to protect it from the hungry bird who watches my every move. Then we come over to the catnip which I also planted recently. I believe off the wrong time the new big dwarf pink tomato and let's see this one is a hyssop that was doing quite well but was neglected for almost months and months and months so we'll see if it comes back the way it should over here we have a, a patio red macaroni pepper and then we have a lemon verbena another empty pot that needs to be planted another red macaroni, uh, a patio red macaroni sweet pepper, and then we have some Greek basil, and those were all planted. This is my second plant row uh, for pots. This is a yellow squash. Here we have a fairy tale eggplant. We have that newly sprouted borage, the first one that sprouted, and then we have uh, an Anna Russian tomato, and it looks like, no, it's not quite blooming yet. This is the Corlick Red tomato. And it is just beginning to look like it might bloom real soon. You can see the little blossoms. They just aren't open yet. My parsley, my parsley is still looking a little bit yellow around the edges. This is a self-watering pot. I don't know how good a daub it does. And the Italian parsley, the flat leaf, is also looking a little yellow. I don't know if it's where I bought these plants the problem or how old they were, but I'm hoping they recover. Over here we have the taxi yellow, and it too is about to have its, its blossoms open if you take a close look there you'll see that they are about to open. And then there's a basil planted with that just to keep it happy. This is an oregano plant that has been here for years 
I planted a calendula with it just for a companion. We're bringing this back. It, a lot of it died out over the neglected period since the end of the gardening season. And this is, of course, where I have my new seed plantings protected from the birds by this screen door. The very end, over there, you're going to see the new squash. Actually, that's a lemon cucumber back here. And it's partially covered by the screen. It's really hard to see this in the sun. But there is the uh, lemon cucumber. And then there's a calendula under here. And then my row of radishes, which will show up much better if I take the screen off of them. And then you can really see that indeed they are coming up. And then planted in here, but not up yet, we have our patty pan squash. All of this must be kept from the bird.